Let's start learning. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. Today, we're going to be talking about liquid volume. What is volume? Well, for a liquid, volume is the amount of liquid that's in a container. For liquids, the word capacity means how much liquid a container can hold. And how much liquid a container can hold is determined by its size and its shape. Since we're talking about volume, today we're going to be talking about volume in terms of the metric system or metric measurement. And we're going to start with the smallest unit of measure for volume of a liquid, and that is a milliliter. All right, so think of the American or the standard system that we use. If you're talking about linear measurement or measurement in lines, the smallest unit we usually use is an inch. When we're talking about liquid volume in the metric system, the smallest unit we use is called a milliliter. A milliliter is about 20 drops from a dropper, you know, a medicine dropper. So if you were to squeeze out 20 drops, that amount that you get would be about a milliliter. One of the things to notice about the word milliliter is that it begins with a prefix. It begins with a prefix M-I-L-L-I. -L -L -I. That means one thousandth, okay? It's like a fraction, one over one thousand. A milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. It takes one thousand milliliters to make one liter. Or we could say one liter equals one thousand milliliters. The abbreviation for milliliter is a lowercase m and an uppercase l. Milliliter. The next unit of measure for liquid volume in the metric system is the liter. A liter is about the amount of liquid it would take to fill, say, a water bottle. Um, and, and a liter is very close to the amount of liquid in a quart in the American or the standard system. All right? Remember, a liter is one thousand milliliters. It takes one thousand milliliters to make a liter. The abbreviation for liter is an uppercase L. Let's practice what we've learned. I'll show you two containers. You tell me if we should measure the liquid volume in milliliters or liters. So take a look. This is a coffee cup. Think about it. Are we going to measure in milliliters or liters? Did you say milliliters? Well, you are correct. Wow. Because we have a smaller container, we're going to use the smaller unit of measure to measure the amount of liquid in the coffee cup. Here's another one. This is an aquarium. Would we measure the volume of a liquid inside in milliliters or liters? What do you think? Did you say liters? Well, you are correct. Wow. Because we have a larger volume, of liquid in the container, we're going to use the larger unit of measure. Nice job! Let's review. Let's review what we've learned. Liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. Capacity is how much liquid a container can hold. And the amount that a container can hold is determined by its size and its shape. We're looking at volume using the metric system. And when we do, we use two units of measurement, milliliters and liters. The smaller is the milliliter. A milliliter is about 20 drops from a medicine dropper. The abbreviation for milliliter is lowercase m, uppercase l. The second unit of volume that we use for liquids in the metric system is a liter. A liter is about the amount of liquid we have in a water bottle, or it's very close to one quart in the American or standard system. The abbreviation for liter is an uppercase L. Nice work, everybody. Parents, teachers, and homework helpers, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. A like will really help the channel, so please give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, and remember, it never hurts to be